let's do this after a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, my last video was like, I was like a little, a little, oh, look at the pretty colors. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go off on a tangent about Dr. Demento and Saturday Night, or Sunday Night Funnies on uh, Q107 and Chum FM and all that stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, so let's do this uh, as a week as I possibly can be right now. I just finished a very nice dinner uh, that my beautiful wife made. Um, and I came back downstairs after doing the dishes and uh, I finished building this thing. Um, I will be perfectly uh, able to say I've never ever built this before in my life. <laughs> Never had this set, never uh, owned this set, I never bought this set. However, ooh, look at this in the background. Go put that right up there. Um, I liked the look of this set uh, when I was younger, uh, when I saw it in the brochure, but I did like... Uh, this one better. <laughs> so I'm going to put that one in the background right there. And while I'm at it, let's see if I can do this. Because again, I like to do these kind of things lately. Because I'm starting to get to the point where I'm having most of the sets built in these various themes. Um, my favorite set. There you go. So, and what else do I got? Uh, do I have the rest of my? Yeah, I don't want to go find them. Um, so let's get into the actual review of the set. Well, I cannot find any more um, UFOs. <laughs> There's there somewhere. I probably put them in a baggie. Okay, so this is 6975 at Alien Avenger. It's not the Avengers. It's Alien Avenger. It is a UFO set. came out in 1997. I was 20, 30 years old. came with four figs, which I had a tough time with. These are the only figs that I could actually try to build, and I think they're both basically wrong um <laughs> whatever 361 pieces again because i didn't buy a lot of i didn't buy any ufos uh i just got them a uh, second hand through my collections over the years um it's not a surprise i don't have a lot of figs for ufo it wasn't a set that i was uh, a theme that i was interested in back in the day and so it wasn't a theme that every time i saw a lot and it had uh ufo in it and if it didn't have any other thing else i wasn't interested in buying it um you know, Mtron and uh, Space Police One and obviously Classic Space. If I saw that in a, in a lot, I'd be very tempted to buy it. UFO back in the day, I was not tempted to buy. But obviously I have enough. <laughs> I substituted no pieces in here except for the mini figs. Again, I'm missing two figs. Uh, every other piece is uh, supposed to be in here. So obviously, uh, through the acquiring of other collections, I've got enough to build this set. What I do believe is I will not be able to build the capital ship in the UFO series, which will be coming up later. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to give it my best attempt. But I only had four of these big quarter uh, domes, if you want to call them quarter rounds. I only have four of them, and they're all in here. <laughs> so I can't build any more. Uh, I have a lot of these smaller ones and a lot of more trans neon green of these smaller ones. Uh, so I, I, you know, they probably came in that set or this set, um, but I have no more big ones. I only had the four and I believe this set was, uh, one of the sets that I acquired, uh, in the many, many lots because basically all the pieces were absolutely here. I had no problems finding them. Um, I would say that it impressed me for the build. It impressed me for, uh, the playability, which we'll get into in a sec. Uh, I would say it, for the UFO theme, again, having never built this one before, but building it now, I like it. I really do. Uh, I don't think it's as good as those two back there. Uh, it has it has some really, really cool features, but basically it's just a bigger version of that guy. <laughs> that's To me, that's what it ended up being. Um, but it's a UFO set. It has to look like a UFO, and this definitely does look like a UFO. So... Let's get into it. Uh, the top pops up, and then one of the figs that sits in the top. Again, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then the whole top pops off. It's got magnets holding on the bottom. Again, like the other UFO set back there, it's all hollow underneath here, which is fine. You don't need to worry about that. But this thing can go and land over there. So we'll put that over there. 
in the background. And now the big body uh, that's left, it has this vehicle, which again, hand of God, you have to lift it out. I guess this thing is supposed to maybe lift it out. Let me see if I can do this um, in the universe. And so this thing can come over here and put it down. So yeah, so that's what's supposed to happen. So now that now this vehicle's out, it has a little rover in the front, a little tiny rover in the front. Uh, the, the one thing I would have done had I been designing this is I wouldn't have had a double opening here with the two, um, the, the two hinge, uh, four by four with hinge. I would have put one on top maybe and one on the bottom. So it opened to be a ramp because this thing now has to, in universe, how's it supposed to get up to here? There's no ramp. I would have designed it a different way. So that this thing became the ramp to let it up and down. But other than that, so that's a deficiency that I found. Anybody? Anyway. Snowball. A snowball that has snowed in our area. <laughs> so Josh is all playing the snow. Uh, the other thing that I found really, really intriguing uh, on this is not it's not the Renegade as as um, as uh, obvious as in the Renegade, but this thing does have an anti symmetry to it. Like if you look at it dead on, it looks pretty symmetrical. Oh, if I can tilt up the camera, it does look pretty pretty. Uh, round uh, but the anti-symmetry shows up with like the I guess these are supposed to maybe this is the back I was just trying to figure out what, what's the back and what's the front I think this is the back because these are the thrusters and most we'll talk about in a sec but so if this is the back then this is the front so the back is symmetrical but again this thing is on one side and the hatch is on the other side so that's anti-symmetrical uh, but, and these, I, I don't know if they're rocket cannons. I honestly don't know. They could be rocket cannons, like the big, huge gun that was on top of the, um, whatever you call that, uh, wheeled vehicle in Batman, uh, Batman Returns or whatever it was called with Bane. Um, that big, huge gun that was on top of their, uh, vehicles. Um, kind of reminded me of that with the, the this, this kind of weapon here, but this thing has this thing on, on the top. I don't know if this is supposed to pop off for the guys to hold. Like this is some sort of uh, bazooka or mineral detector or something because it's got the handle on it. Uh, but it's there. And then, but this on this side, it just has this little uh, inverted four by four dish. So that's not symmetrical. This is not symmetrical. So it's got two features that are anti quote unquote anti symmetrical. Uh, you get to the back. Let's go back to the back again. And that's if, if if we take the idea that this is the back because the thrusters are here and it's supposed to go that way. So if this is the front and this is the back, because I can't see it going this way and this way. <laughs> Maybe it does. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the thrusters for a sec. Now, let's put this guy aside and let's pull this guy over. Now, this is a small ship, small little tiny ship. And look at all the thrusters on the back of this thing. There's, there's one, two, three. Oh, it's missing something in the back there. Must have fallen off somewhere. Five, six, seven. Seven thrusters and what could be deemed as thrusters, eight and nine, right? So this thing has a gabillion thrusters on the back of it. This guy has these two little tiny dinky thrusters <laughs> for this big, huge ship. Again, if, if we are in universe, and I keep on talking about being in universe, I have a tough time with that uh, because how is this thing supposed to get around? It's going to be the slowest UFO in the universe to move around because that's the only thrusters I see on this entire ship. I, I don't believe these things on the bottom are thrusters unless they're, uh, uh, you know, a multi-directional thrusters. Uh, so I don't believe those are thrusters. So I think these are the only thrusters in the entire ship. And to me, that's a deficiency. It's not a major deficiency. I mean, this thing, as I say, has huge playability features to it. Uh, and it is kind of cool that this thing just pops off. Um, this part, to me, in the center here, seemed to be unfinished. Now I, now, I get that it's all hidden when you put this thing on top. Like it's all hidden and you don't see it. But having, it's not symmetrical left and right or up and down. It's kind of a kitty corner. This is there, that's there, that's there, that's there. Um, it just seemed to be slightly unfinished in here. And it's, I know it's just a storage area for the, for the wheeled vehicle um, like that. But it just seems, I don't know, it seemed a little unfinished to me. But... Again, I can't complain about that. The other thing that's a little bit of a complaint, and I guess is you just, so you're supposed to hold on this thing at the bottom and just spin it, right? So it is a spinning UFO. So we'll put this back on top and then you can just spin, right? I, I, I get it. Um, 
they did the same thing over here with this guy but this guy the entire the entire bottom part doesn't spin and the top part does right uh so this thing will not spin when it's sitting on the ground because of course those those um those rocket skis are there in a the way <laughs> so um so there are deficiencies uh I, I i can't think of too many more as i say the actual uh vehicle the actual ufo looks kind of cool it's big looks like a ufo the prints are wonderful i've always loved these prints um even the uh hologrammed uh triangles on the uh whatever you want to call these things this thing is fine i don't mind the, because it happens in the 6880 it happens with a whole bunch of sets and the magnets again like emtron uh fine absolutely fine no problem with that at all uh the trans neon green great again i'm not gonna pull out the black light but the trans neon green is awesome oh what i didn't mention is um in the set you have these two little cockpits on here for for uh for the ufo guy so they're supposed to be sitting in here because it comes with four figs and so two but one goes there one goes there one goes on top here and uh you know so it, it has spaces for all the figs so in the end um i like it uh i i i'm the ufo is not my favorite theme but it is a cool theme overall and you can see that it is i like to say unique in the line of all the sets like we did the um ice planet the deep freeze defender yesterday and it, it reminded me of classic space when they went from blue gray to blue white um because it has and but again there wasn't the trans dark blue it was trans orange neon orange but it had a lot of similarities this one radically different than all the other sets that came for it, other other themes that came for it is, and they look unique. I mean, insectoids would be the most unique, obviously, out of all of them, but this one was really really cool. Um, and as I say, the uh, the other the other sets look like they put effort into them uh, to make it unique and fun for the kids and to look radically different than the rest of the things the the, the rest of the themes that they were put out before. Um, and, and it, it, it looks like a cohesive theme. It looks like all the sets belong together, uh, with all the prints and all the UFO looking things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I can't talk too much more about this because again, UFO is not my favorite theme. I don't, I did not spend a lot of time with it in my, uh, my youth, as they say. Um, but it's a worthy theme theme. And if, if you are a UFO collector, I'm not faulting you for that. I think it's an awesome theme to collect. Uh, I, I was actually having a debate with myself. If if I didn't like classic space, or if I didn't like classic space as much, what other theme would I just jump wholeheartedly into, um, and 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 make layouts for? I would have to say because Blacktron was already done, uh, the Blacktron Intelligence Agency, and I don't think you're ever going to surmount that. <laughs> uh, although you can. Um, and mtron has been done uh, very, very well by a whole bunch of different lugs throughout the world. And I'm really, really impressed with the those things. And, and that's kind of tempting for me. But I would have to say, uh, and this is not a disparaging UFO, which I should be, you know, reviewing right now. I would have to say I would do Ice Planet. Honestly, Ice Planet. I would uh, build a layout for Ice Planet. On the sole reason that it's more... Um, I don't know. I, I, well, first of all, I have all the colors, white and blue. I mean, I got billions of those in black, um, trans neon orange, uh, lots. Um, it's just, it just seems to me be more fun than all the rest of the themes, uh, for that. Um, I'm just missing, I'm just noticing I'm missing a lot of pieces. <laughs> There's sets that must get beat up on the shelf. Um, but I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't choose UFO to be a theme that I want to expand upon, although uh, they have really cool looking sets. I can't build this way without instructions. I can't, I can't make it look like this um, and, and build uh, other uh, vehicles and, and ships that convey UFO. Um, I mean, I can try someday. Um, but anyway, the one more thing I want to talk about besides, you know, the, 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 the tiny, in, uh, deficiencies in the set, and they are tiny compared to what you get, um, is this guy. Now, years and years and years ago, when I was a kid, uh, they had an, uh, four by four, 
uh, L brick like this. It was a brick shape and it came out in the late 60s. I don't know if they're mid 60s, but I have some really old, uh, I think they're red, uh, brick that looks like this. And I would have to say, I don't remember with all the builds I've done so far for this series of ever using this piece in the plate before. The, the two by two L brick, or the two by two L plate is used everywhere. It's ubiquitous in all the space themes, <laughs> except for classic classic space because it wasn't invented yet. Uh, but I think from uh, at least from Futron on, the two by two L piece uh, plate was very much in use. And I think there's not a set that doesn't have it. <laughs> I'm sure there is, but not too many. Uh, the two by two uh, or the four by four L piece. Uh, it's very, very versatile. Well, it, it, it helps you build stronger, quicker. You don't have to, you know, do a lot of whatever. But when I was building this piece, uh, this set, I realized that I must have gotten a set in a lot because they, they called for eight of these. And I, I'm sure I did, but I don't recall ever building with them before. Um, because I don't bother. Because again, my, my, my building style is pre this piece. <laughs> So uh, there are none of these pieces in my layout, but I really, really like this piece. And I might start, but I don't have a lot. Uh, the fact that I have a ninth uh, light gray, old gray one is actually astounding. Uh, I know I can't build another one of these, but I happen to have more than eight of these. Um, so I, I don't know what other people, I mean, I could find out really, really quick what other sets they came in, but I like it. Uh, I, I find it very, very uh, nice. And I should start thinking about using it more if I actually get more of them. Um, but I thought I pointed out to you, there's eight of these in this guy, accent, uh, whatever, not accent aigu, I always forget what the French name for the, uh, the chevron is. But in the end, uh, 6975 Alien Avenger is a worthy set to have, in my opinion. It's, uh, the, the deficiencies are very, very slight and very, very small compared to the, what you actually get. Uh, a lot of, lots of pieces, 380 pieces, um, and and some really lots of cool pieces. Yeah, there's lots of basic pieces, and there's like one by twos and one by eights and stuff like that, and some plates. But overall, it, it is it's a worthy set to have um, if you're trying to complete a collection. And it does look cool when it's together. That's what I liked about it. It, it looked it looked really cool when it was finished, and uh, therefore I you know can't complain about it. <laughs> Because I was, I was happy that uh, it turned out to, like again. I never built it before today. Uh, I was kind of trepidatious about building it, going how how much am I going to dislike this set? And as I was building it, I was finding I was liking it more and more until I finished it. And I said that is an awesome, awesome set. So uh, that's it. Uh, let's go do a um, preview for the next one. There's no six nine seven six, so that we won't be building that one. There is an oh yeah, there we go. Back to insectoids. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to get that one done. Because <laughs> I'm going to spend some time with the family tonight. So I'm not going to be down here building. Um, so expect to see it when you see it. As Gandalf would say, expect to see me when you see me. Uh, expect to see 6977. Now I will say right off the top that I did buy at least two of these from Shop at Home back in the day when we got those uh, sales uh, listings, postings on Lugnet that says this is from the uh, shop at home and then trying to get rid of uh, overstock basically. Uh, and this is early 2000s. And since the 6977 came out in 1998, I guess they still had a bunch of boxes. And so I actually bought a ton of insectoids uh, from shop at home uh, for deep discount. So um, we'll see what happens. I do know that I've used some of the pieces in some other things, so I might not be able to complete two of them, but I'm going to build at least one, <laughs> see if I can. And uh, I'll talk about it then because it was a, uh, I liked it. And um, well, let's go uh, beyond that too. So 6977 is going to be built next. Uh, 6978 is nothing. There's nothing there. 6979. So we got, oh, see, I won't be able to build that. I will not be able to build a 6979 Interstellar Starfighter UFO, which is the capital ship for the UFO series, because again, I used up all four that I had in here. And that requires at least two in the 6979. And I don't even think I have those trans screens anymore. So um, I might skip that one entirely. <laughs> 
Well, I've never skipped one so far, but I might skip that one entirely because I def the big pieces make the ship and I don't have them. Uh, I will see when I get there. But of course, after 6979, we get to the 6980, which I am so looking forward to because um, it's an awesome set. So, um, so two more sets before the 6980 and I'm going to love every minute of that. Um, I think the 698, uh, we talked about it at the beginning of the 6970 series, the 6979, and I still have two to go, but let's just have a quick synopsis. Uh, so far, all of them have been awesome, like really, really awesome. Um, the, the bases over there, one of them, uh, 6971, and then the, um, even the, uh, Deep Freeze Defender and even this guy, um, the 6970 series, 6970, the 6979, a lot of great sets in there. Some, n n no bad sets at all. Um, again, I haven't built 6979, but I built the other one. <laughs> but um, I, I'm honestly looking forward to 6980 and 6989, because um, again, it's going to be another one of these that there's not a bad set in the, uh, in the uh, entire range. Um, even for, and I've talked about this before, I like the Explorians mothership. Um, and then we got back to the ice planet, the biggest, uh, the, the, the base there. Um, six, nine, eight, four, the galactic mediator. I might again have enough. I might not be able to build that one, but I'm going to try because again, I never bought all the sets for, um, space police two, but, uh, I did get a lot of used lots back in the day. And uh, maybe I got all the pieces for it because I built all the rest of them. 6985, obviously. <laughs> won't have to build. Um, uh, 6986, I won't have to build. So I'm going to be having a little bit of a break next time. I don't have to build all the sets. <laughs> uh, the 6987, I don't have to build. Yay! So that's going to be, uh, I have to build two, two so far. Three so far. 6988, the Centurion Outpost. 6989. I sadly, I actually have to build <laughs> uh, because I had no room to store it. Uh, but I enjoy building it. I built that, um, I don't know, I, at least half a dozen times in my life. I rebuilt it because it's a fun build. Um, so look forward to it. I got two more sets in the 6970 series. I'm going to have a big tough time with the 6979 because, again, I don't have the big pieces. I might snip them off of here take them off of here just temporarily and that's all I'll take off of this one to build the other one and I might brick link them um we'll see uh it'll be a surprise for both of us so everybody I want everybody to stay safe take care um I'm going to keep the tangents down to a minimum I'm not going to say hey take care and talk for another 20 minutes this time <laughs> sometimes I'm prone to do because another thought comes into my head like Columbo like I'm doing right now oh one more thing so uh no more one more things right now I'm gonna wrap this up I want everybody to stay safe. I really appreciate you guys, uh, everybody out there that are watching these videos. And um, I'll talk to you soon.